Hey guys, this is Yanks Rock 1000 here with my full review of the Acer Iconia Tab A100. I've had this tablet since Christmas and I think I've had it long enough to give you the full review of it. I've been putting up videos of app reviews and tips and tricks videos for this tablet since Christmas and I will continue doing that after this review. I really enjoy the tablet so now I'll tell you my review and my personal opinions so about it. The basics are that it's a 7 inch Honeycomb tablet. It's running Android 3.2. It was, I think, the first tablet to be 7 inches and running Honeycomb. It won't be running Honeycomb for long though because it's getting ice cream sandwich. Also, it's a fully fledged tablet and it was about $250. So when I say fully fledged, I mean it has Android Market, Flash. It's not like a, um, a Kindle Fire where it has a modified version or like a pan tech where it just can't go in the Android market at all. Um, it has 8 gigabytes of internal storage plus an SD card slot, so it could be up to 64 gigabytes. It has a Tegra 2 dual core processor, two cameras, the front facing, which is right here, and the back facing, which is back here. The front is 2 megapixels, which is pretty good for a front facing camera, and the back is 5 megapixels, and it takes pretty good video and pretty good um, still images. It ha also has a flash too which is pretty nice to have with a tablet. All the ports that it has is a uh, docking connector, HDMI, two speakers, and a um, mini USB. It charges via this proprietary connector right here and it doesn't which is kind of one of the downsides it um, charges via this proprietary and not the mini USB. The mini USB is only for syncing from your computer, which I personally have never done because of all the cloud syncing that it could do. So um, it has a pretty slick design. As you can see, it's pretty thin, it's pretty light, it's only 7 inches, it's good for reading, it's a good size. I like that about it. Also, um, it has a home button which you don't really see on most Android tablets anymore. The home button's right here. You might see it light up. It can be used in replacement of this and it can be used just um, instead. So um, I like this home button because it's in a different place. Let's say you're playing a game landscape and you're holding it like this. It's a lot easier to put your thumb on the home button instead of putting your finger down here at the bottom. It's also um, I've been talking about its music, I've given a Google Music review. One of the reasons that I've been talking about this is because it has something called Dolby Mobile. Dolby Mobile is something that a few tablets and phones have that make the, um, it just enhances your audio, which is really great. It kind of sounds like you're listening to $100 headphones when you're just listening on like $20 headphones. It really makes every music that you listen to great, especially if it's already good to start out. All you have to do to have that is check this Dolby Mobile, and then you'll have the enhanced bass and treble. So, you know what Honeycomb is. It's the tablet operating system. It has widgets, it has uh, wallpapers, live wallpapers. So you probably know what Honeycomb is by now. It's just an operating system that Google made and they're soon replacing with Ice Cream Sandwich. So the tablet has really fast internet. It's pretty responsive. So let's say you want to go to Yahoo which is on a home page widget. It's pretty fast. It really depends on your um, internet connection. Most of the uh, big websites have special tablet versions but also you can um, have the desktop version as well. So um, it's great for games too. I have a lot of games. This is like my game entertainment page and so is this. And I think it's better than the Kindle Fire because it can use the Android Market games and the Amazon apps. So it's like three times the amount of games that you could get on this tablet. Um, one complaint is like the fragmentation of apps so if it's made for a phone it won't really be that great on this and if it's made for a 10 inch tablet it will, will look kind of zoomed in like too small for this 
but that's more of Honeycomb's problem and not this tablet. I think that will be fixed in um, Ice Cream Sandwich. Also, like, it's it's a great size. If you don't want a 10-inch tablet, which is just as big as, ev like, a laptop, this is great for books, uh, one-handed use. So, overall, would I recommend this tablet? Yes, I would recommend this tablet. Uh, some of the cons that it has is, like, a small battery, so if you're lucky, you'll get up to five hours or so. But unless you're really planning on using your tablet all day long, that's not going to be a problem for you. Especially if you could get this for about 250 and I'm pretty sure you could get it used for about 200 You'll be pretty happy with this. It's getting ice cream sandwich like in February. So, um, and Acer is really up to date on their updates. Also, like the biggest competitor of this is like those ebook readers, Kindle Fire, and Nook Color. So this is better than that because it actually runs Android. It doesn't run some kind of different modified version of it. It runs Honeycomb and it runs it really, really well. You'll be able to do really anything that you want to do on a tablet on this. I know that on like Kindle Fire, you can root it and get Honeycomb on it, but that's not real. Like you have to admit, that's not what real Honeycomb is. This is real Honeycomb and it will be getting real ice cream sandwich. So, um, it's just really great. If you want a great tablet and you don't want to spend $500 on, an eight, on a Samsung or $800 on a Zoom, this is what you should get. And this is why I got it. And it really has a lot of ups over the iPad with Flash and Android. That's really it. So that's my review of the Acer Iconi Tab A100. Subscribe, comment. I do love comments. I don't really get many. And, um, thanks.